first. Two dozen children make up the fourth grade class at School 46. It's very validating that our scores popped because, you know, we work really hard, we're really dedicated. Common Core math scores for this group of young learners ranks among the highest in the district. For example, if I had a number that looked like this. Katie D'Ambrosio. Yes. Greg Subak. We don't know that answer yet, do we? And Natalie Soror team up for teaching. We just have a great respect for one another and what we do. And we work well together. We're able to listen to each other. And we're always open to each other's suggestions and what works, what doesn't work. And we're not afraid to talk about the things that didn't work in order to improve and make them better for the next time. Sometimes as a teacher, you get stuck in, in a certain way, you know, if you've been doing it for a long time. But getting feedback and getting ideas from another person is always, is always helpful. Weekly meetings keeps the learning for both classrooms on the same page. New creative ideas are going to benefit the teacher as well as the students. So I think a team approach is the best way. Can we take one away from five once? Yes. yes. We're able to give students immediate feedback when we're working in small groups, and they're able to work cooperatively and talk about what they're doing and learn from those mistakes. The fact that they're succeeding, I think, is in itself an amazing feeling. We hope that the good stuff that is happening in this classroom is also happening throughout the district so that, you know, the expectations are higher for all kids and, you know, that they're seeing the successes that, that we're seeing.